And yesterday, Knox County school leaders, joined by other leaders in education, government, and development, pitched a lofty goal. Here to discuss this effort is Knox County School Superintendent, Dr. John Reiswick. Dr. Reiswick, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Well, yesterday you announced that Knox County wants to see 70% of students enrolled in post-secondary education by 2024. Mm -hmm. That is sure. a lofty goal. It is a lofty goal, it definitely is. But it's you know it's one it's one we can do as a community, and it's one that we uh, that our students need. Uh, and so it's very important that we that we pull our efforts together to get that done. Uh, and I think we can. And the percentage was fifty nine percent if mm -hmm. in twenty twenty one. Correct. How do you foresee reaching that goal in a short amount of time? You know, I think a lot of it is that we've all had uh, different challenges in the last couple of years, uh, and I think it's been. Uh, rightfully so the the going to college was not necessarily the focal point of all families and i think some of that is getting our eye back on the ball uh, understanding the importance of why we need to do that um, for the workforce we all know knoxville's growing uh, and for us to have a workforce where uh, for the jobs that are being developed we need to make sure that we have students who are ready uh, to enter that workforce to enter to and, and part of that is going to college and finish the training that they need um, and, and I think that's an important thing that we need to do, so. And you all launched just recently, uh, just last week, the 865 Academies. Mm -hmm. Is this part of the equation? It is. Um, you know, we kind of ask ourselves, uh, what do we need to do to get students ready for the next, uh, the next level and, and, and to be successful post-graduation? Uh, and part of that was really looking at uh, traditional high schools don't do that for every student. Um, so it was really look at, for us to look at how do we need to remake high schools uh, to give more students those opportunities and, and opportunities that are aligned to local business because we want to keep our talent here in, uh, in Knox County. So a lot of that was um, you know, re reframing some of the ways we do things with freshman academies and, and career academies, kind of make big schools feel smaller. Uh, teachers gathered around those students uh, with clear outcomes and clear check-ins of where they're trying to get to. But a big part of that is local business, uh, being part of the schools. Uh, that's not always been the place where, they, where they're comfortable and, and they're, they're a partner in the school for all those years and students have regular exposure from their freshman year to graduation and beyond uh, with those local businesses. And to that point, at the announcement yesterday, it wasn't just Knox County mm -hmm. school leaders. You had government leaders, you mm -hmm. had um, the chamber, you had UT and mm -hmm. Pellissippi. This is a, a, a consortium, if you will, of people and entities coming together to make this happen. How important, how needed is mm -hmm. that? Uh, very much so. I mean, it is not something the school system can do on its own. And uh, I think we have large entities that, that you just mentioned that are involved there. And you have the school system, you know, UT, Pellissippi, uh, TCAT of Knoxville, those kinds of things. And, uh, and I think, you know, we, we all have had lots of conversations leading up to this and we see the need for that. It's easy to get siloed, kind of doing what your organization does. But uh, again, we're blessed to live in a community that people really want what's best for kids. And it's, so it's, it's easy for them to come around. Uh, we haven't any, had anyone tell us no when we've had those conversations uh, and everyone's looking for places where it, it's a natural for us to cross over uh, to reach the goal. All right. Well, we will be watching the progress. Dr. Reiswick, thank you so much for your time. We thank appreciate you. you. Have All a good right. day. Yep.